from Alabama. Uh, yes, uh, Mr. Chairman, I yield uh, two minutes to the gentleman from Georgia, Mr. Price. The gentleman is recognized for two minutes. Thank you, Spencer. So ordered. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I thank my friend from Alabama for, uh, for yielding me time and for leading on this issue. What we hear from the other side of the aisle is this famous old phrase, trust us, right? Trust us. Now, we know that, uh, that, that folks on the other side don't have any real reluctance to have the government run things. We've seen it over and over and over again. In fact, we just heard it from one of the speakers, said, we don't want to run private companies. And then he followed that up and said, but this is only part of what we need to do. But the bill, Mr. Speaker, the bill has language in it that would, in effect, allow the federal government to determine pay compensation for employees. And that might be all right if it were just uh, companies that were receiving tax money. That might be okay. But in fact, it's not. It is so many other companies. Uh, covered financial institutions, the definition in the bill would expose companies like CVS Caremark, that's right, drugstores, CVS Caremark, WellCare Health Plan, Value Line, Textron, McGraw Hill Companies, Medco Health Solutions, Lowe's Corporation. Now, Mr. Speaker, this is another far reach by the Democrats in charge who believe that the government knows best not just about automobile companies, not just about energy companies, not just about how to spend your money, not just about your health care. They're working on that government-run health care plan, but also private companies across this land. They believe that they ought to be able to come in and say, okay, this is what you can make and this is what you can't make. If you don't believe it, just read the bill. Nobody is concerned about having shareholders give their opinion, have a say about what executives make when shareholders own part of that company. That makes a whole lot of sense. But what we do have concerns about, grave concerns, is the intervention of the federal government into one business after another after another. This is just another example of that. It's a terrible idea. It strikes at the very core of the free market principles that have made us the greatest nation in the history of the world. Bad idea, Mr. Speaker. Vote no. The gentleman yields back his time. Gentleman